Let me just take a, a few minutes first to, to thank Senator Dodd and for his extraordinary leadership on this bill. And I know that he's working through a lot of amendments. I know a lot of us have been, been uh, urging him to, to, to allow us to present amendments. I know he's been challenged by the, the efforts uh, on trying to schedule votes on amendments. And I just really want to thank him on behalf of all of his colleagues on the Senate for your extraordinary leadership on bringing this bill forward. Uh, we thank Senator Shelby for working with Senator Dodd, and I know we're close to, to bringing this bill to completion. I'm very proud to be a supporter of this bill. I think it's critically important that we do what we need to do in regulating Wall Street. Uh, this amendment is a bipartisan amendment. Senator Lugar has filed a bill that I'm a proud co-sponsor of that accomplishes basically the same purpose, and he's been a real leader on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee on transparency for, on the uh, on oil industry and its contracts. The nature of the oil, gas, and mining sector means that companies often have to operate in countries uh, where they're autocratic, unstable, or both. Investors need to know the full extent of a company's exposure when they're operating in countries where they are subject to expropriation, political and social turmoil, and reputational risks. In Nigeria, for example, American companies have taken oil fields offline because of rebel activity and instability in the Niger Delta. In 2009, Nigeria was producing almost a million barrels less than it's able to produce because of conflict and instability. With such productions offline, American oil companies, such as Chevron, Exxon, have lost jobs and lost profits and are forced to pay higher production costs because of added security. This amendment goes a long way in achieving the transparency by requiring all foreign and domestic companies registered with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission to report in their annual reports to the SEC how much they pay each government for access to their oil, gas, and minerals. In short, this amendment is a critical part of increased transparency and good governance that we're striving to achieve in the financial industry. We've been working with a lot of groups on perfecting this amendment, and we've made some changes that will give the SEC the utmost flexibility in defining how these reports will be made so that we get the transparency we need without burdening the companies. And I want to thank all involved in the modifications that have been made uh, to this amendment from how it was originally filed in order to make it not a burden on the industry, but to provide the necessary information to investors. This amendment also, we are about creating jobs and preserving jobs. This amendment is important because it will help create and preserve U.S. jobs in the oil, gas, and mining sector by improving the conditions in which oil and mining companies have to work. Transparency will help create more stable governments, which in turn allow U.S. companies to operate more freely and on a level playing field in markets that otherwise are too risky or unstable. This is a bipartisan amendment because Democrats and Republican colleagues both know that creating a new standard of transparency will, uh, uh, th th that will apply to the world's extractive industries is in the best interest of companies on competing on a level playing field. And that has been what Senator Lugar has been standing for within the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, and I applaud him on his leadership. In fact, this amendment would apply to all oil, gas, and mining companies required to file periodic reports with the SEC, which include 90% of the major internationally operated oil companies, eight out of the 10 largest mining companies in the world, only two of which are U.S. companies. We currently have a voluntary international standard for promoting transparency. Another, a number of countries and, uh, and companies have joined the Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative, an excellent initiative that has made tremendous strides in changing the cultural secrecy that uh, surrounds extractive industries. But too many countries and too many companies remain outside this voluntary system. I had the honor of chairing the Helsinki Commission for, for this Congress. This has been one of our top priorities because it deals with good governance, as well as investors knowing where a company are making payments. The U.S. needs to take a leadership position in regards to the Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative. This amendment attached to this bill will go a long way of promoting that leadership for the United States. The notion of transparency has been endorsed by the G8, the IMF, the World Bank, and another, a, re, a number of regional development banks. It is clear to the financial leaders of the world that transparency in natural resources development is key to holding government leaders accountable for the needs of their citizens and not just building up their personal offshore bank accounts. 
I urge my colleagues to stand up for investors and stand up for citizens and give them the information they need to hold government accountable. I urge my colleagues to join me and the other co-sponsors of this amendment and support the creation of an historic transparency standard that will pierce the veil of secrecy that fosters so much corruption and instability in resource-rich countries.